right, so this is going to be a video about estimating derivatives at a point. So it says right here, the table above gives selected values of f of x. If you notice, we have f of x right here and x right here. And it says estimate f prime of 7. So we are going to use the values between x equals 6 and x equals 8 to figure out the average rate of change and use that as an estimate for f prime of 7. So basically I'm going to be finding the slope between the points x equals 6 and x equals 8. One thing to notice here is the value, the f of x value as you go from 6 to 8 decreases. So your slope should be negative. Now if you look at the other problem it says what's f prime of 3? Well 3 is going to be between the 1 and the 5 so we're going to use x equals 1 and x equals 5 here we're going to use these two values because 3 is in the in between these two values but if you notice for this one for these values it goes from 62 to 70 so in this case it actually goes up so you're going to have positive slope for the second one and negative slope for the first one so it's kind of one of those things to just be on the lookout for as you're doing the problem so here we go so we're trying to figure out the estimation of f prime of 7. So I did a little curly's equal sign here, just which means approximately. And we're basically going to be finding the slope between the x equals 6 and the x equals 8. So I'm going to write that in really quick. So if you notice here what I have in the orange, we're doing the change in y over the change in x. So now we just have to fill in what f of 8 is and what f of 6 is. And it's given on the table up here. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so you end up with something like this, and if you notice at the top, you get 55 minus 62, so it's going to be negative 7 over 2. So your final answer for the estimation of f prime of 7 would be negative 7 over 2. Some common things to look out for, um, common errors that students have done in the past, is they mix up the x's and the y's. You have to make sure that you do change in y over change in x. Make sure you look at the table and notice how it's it's labeled x and f of x to make sure that you actually get that ratio in the correct order. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is the estimation of f prime of 3 by finding the average rate of change between x equals 1 and x equals 5. So I'm going to do that real quick. So if we work this all out, you're going to end up with 8 over 4, which is just going to end up being 2. And if you notice, remember I said before, the rate of change should be positive. So you do end up getting that positive value with the 2. So that's how to find the estimations of derivatives at certain points using a table. If you have any questions about any of this video, let me know.